You think you can get soup? Please, you're wasting everyone's time. It's a very tense game, though. Still there, refusing to jump. Yeah, Dad, you don't even know how many people are on a football team. Hi, welcome to Comedy Parenting Radio, the show that makes summertime icy pops out of Tabasco sauce. We want to welcome our listeners from... Mississauga, Canada? I don't think so. Try that again. Mississauga, Canada? How do you spell that? M-I-S-S-I-S-S-A-U-G-A. And where else? Rapallo, Italy, a place that I know nothing about. Chiba, 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 Japan, Chiba, Japan. Uh, I've got, uh, let's see, there's Courtney over there in the studio. How's it going today, Courtney? It's going fantastic. Joshua, what's up with you? Josh, what's happening? (laughs) Josh, how's it going? He's just doing a dance. Cat's got his tongue. Uh, Elijah's not here right now. Where's Elijah? Doing laundry. So he must be doing good. And Josiah, how are you? Um, very well. Today we're going to be talking about games at camp. We'll be right back. This year, firefighters like Fire Chief James Hall will battle wildfires around the country in hopes of containing them. But firefighters can't do it alone. A single ember that escapes from a wildfire can travel more than a mile, or it can ignite and destroy your home and community. Get Fire Adapted. Learn simple steps you can take now to reduce wildfire damage later at fireadapted.org. A public service message brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Learn more at fireadapted.org. Comedy. Banting. Radio. 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 We're back with Comedy Parenting Radio talking about games at camp. And by the way, we don't go to sports camps, do we? What are those? Yeah, Dad, you don't even know how many people are on a football team. I know how many people are on a bowling team. Well, maybe not. Anyway, we don't do sports. We don't do sports camps. We go just like regular run amuck camps, don't we? Well, yeah, they don't last all summer long usually, but so these camps they come up with crazy games, don't they? Because they can, and because they have to make a good impression in a short amount of time. What would be one of the scariest games of the camps you've been to? Snake pit. Snake pit's not scary. It's a uh, it's a very tense game though. But in what galaxy is Snake Pit scary? Mine. <laughs> <laughs> if you're if you're new, you can. It's pretty scary if you're new, I guess. Or if you have to bend over. I don't like to bend over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, throwing out your back is the ultimate fright. Yeah, I went to camp and now I'm in the hospital. I had to bend over in Snake Pit. <laughs> snake Pit is a game where you're in a pit, you have a ball, you can't touch the ball with your feet, and you're trying to get other people out of the pit by touching them with touching their feet with the ball. So you grab the ball and throw it toward their feet. Yeah. Except for you can't really grab it. You can yeah. only touch it with one hand. You can smack it with one hand. Yes. The thing that I don't like about Snake Pit, though, like, like I come to pick you guys up from camp, you're playing Snake Pit when I arrive, and there's just this big cloud of dust. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty dusty from all the people that have just been walking around in there all summer long. Uh, fun fact, this game is actually called Gaga Ball by most places. Gaga Ball. <laughs> <laughs> What's another game at camp that's a little bit odd? Well, what game isn't odd? Checkers. Checkers at camp? Yeah, old guys camp. Did you know the giant checkers or maybe the giant chess? Uh, I've seen you guys play giant chess before. I think your camp might be a little bit different from our camp. Okay, let me... let me. It's a retirement camp. <laughs> Hold on a second. When I was your age and went to camp, they didn't even have games like this, like the games like Snake Pit and all that stuff. Um, they didn't even have games. You had to do things like basket weaving or make wallets. 
<laughs> have you ever made like a leather wallet and when you go to fold it up, it's like three inches thick? You could not even, like you stick it in your back pocket and sit down, you're kind of tipped over like the little tower pizza. So, hey, dad, look at this wallet I made. Oops, sorry, it has mom's initials on it. Never mind. <laughs> you know. Well, it makes a good bookend, I guess. Yeah. Boy, um, I've, I've, uh, I've heard of camps where they have fun games such as um, pick up around the camp, um, do work outside of the camp area for the country. We thought that those um, were camp games. Okay, kids, yeah, we're going to play Trash Patrol. After breakfast, we're playing Make Your Bed Game. Okay, tell me a little bit more about games where you've been. Well... Uh, last summer, Josh and I went to a camp in Nebraska, which why would anybody make a camp in Nebraska in the middle of the summer? It's... I thought it was illegal. <laughs> it's illegal to be in Nebraska in the summer. That's why we always have dark tinted windows if we drive through there so they know it's us. <laughs> oh, uh, fun fact. Uh, Nebraska is an old Indian word for giant void. <laughs> But this camp did have some pretty fun games, especially at nighttime when you can actually go outside and do stuff. Uh, like, there was this one game, I don't remember what it was called, but you had to take this piece of paper and take it all the way across to the other side of camp and not get caught, which was harder than it might sound. How big was the piece of paper? It was about, it was a really small piece of paper. It was like a post-it note? It was like a three-inch by three-inch piece of paper. So a post-it note. So how would people know you even have the piece of paper? Because you were an honest Christian, and when they stopped you and asked if you had a piece of paper, you would have to give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> this game is not going to work at a lot of other camps, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. You're listening to Comedy Parenting Radio. Games at Camp will be right back. To the waiter at the restaurant You're just another tip To the guy at the ice cream shop you can't get a reservation if you don't have a cloud. Tree Stock Press sells the books that stay on your bookshelves. When you want books that your guests pick up and read and can't put down, make sure it's one of Tree Sock Press's comedy books. Get a copy of our new book, Dad the Tooth Fairy Didn't Come. Your kids will want you to read it over and over until you pull what little hair you have left out. When you pitch old books out into the gutter, you'll feel complete guilt if it's a Tree Sock Press book. Get your Tree Sock books wherever lousy comedy books are sold. Tree Sock. It stays on your shelf. You may think that I'm talking food. It's Comedy Parenting Radio, Games at Camp. Elijah's finally back from the laundry. Uh, that was a big mountain of laundry we have down there, so I hope you had enough rope to rappel off the top of it. Well, I did slip off the end of the rope. Thankfully, it was the last two feet, and I landed in a pile of laundry. <laughs> cool. All right, Games at Camp. What else is going on at camp, you guys? Also at this camp that we went to, they had another game at nighttime called Clue, and it was like a giant game of Clue. Every, you split up into different groups and you would run around to these different stations where you would ask the counselor there if they knew this person or if they knew what happened if this was the murder weapon or stuff like that. It was really, really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, my team came in second. Out of two teams? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I was carried all the way there. We figured it out pretty quick, but the other people on my team didn't really move very fast. They just kind of walked, so we didn't make it there. So the clue is, if you have somebody on your team that's not really fast at moving around, get a wheelbarrow and put them in the wheelbarrow. Yeah, exactly. You can win more games that way. By the way, I'll send the wheelbarrow with you to camp uh, today, Elijah. Well, then there are those feel, those games that are on a... A playing field with a giant ball or things like that? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Well, um, at the camp in Nebraska, they had uh, pretty standard games, you know, like football and soccer and frisbee. But at the camp in um, here in Marble, they have all sorts of interesting games like like uh, like giant ball soccer, which is a, with, it's soccer with a six-foot-tall ball. Noodle soccer. Don't they even have a human foosball? 
They they used to. It got taken out by the avalanche. <laughs> you might explain that the camp is at the bottom of an avalanche zone. Yeah. The camp is at the bottom of an avalanche zone. <laughs> it wipes out most of the camp every year. They have to rebuild it every year. You know, your uh, oldest brother went to a camp. One of the games that they had was a ropes thing where mm-hmm. they, 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 they put you in a climbing harness and they had a rope. And you had to climb up a giant a pole, like a totem pole type thing. Yeah. Stand at the top and then just jump off and try to grab a trapeze that was impossibly far away. So you just fell Oof. and were hanging by the rope. Oof. And you come back and swing and smack into the pole? Uh, basically that. And there was one kid who uh, reportedly climbed up to the top, and he's standing on top of this shaky tower that's, you know, 30 feet up. Uh, he's got a rope on him. He refused to jump. Oh, no. He was petrified. What happened? Well, they just left him there, cut the rope, and so there's a statue of a petrified camper right there. Right? <laughs> still still there, <laughs> refusing to jump. And there's a little plaque at the bottom that says, The Camper Who Refused to Jump. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like that tower was probably shut down due to several lawsuits. <laughs> Most likely. Here stands Markov. He refused to jump off. You're listening to Comedy Parenting Radio, Games at Camp. We'll be right back. I am the guy in the sky, looking at you. Dave, what are you doing? Just sending a gift to Dave2037. Who? Me in the future. I save a little money from every paycheck as a gift to Dave2037, so he can spend it on things like anti-gravity boots or a hologram Doberman. Something cool like that. I think Dave2037 deserves it. He worked hard. What are you getting Steve2037? I guess I was thinking Steve2037 would just fend for himself. Well, all right. But don't expect to be borrowing my anti-gravity boots. You want to have money in your future? You got to start saving now. Putting some money from every paycheck into a savings account or contributing to your 401k can make a big difference later. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free ideas and easy ways to save, go to feedthepig.org. That's feedthepig.org. Hey, let's just hope Steve2037 doesn't get his hands on a cold time machine because he is going to come back here and knock some sense into you. This message brought to you by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants and the Ad Council. Ha! Comedy parenting radio. Tell it to the magistrate. You know, when I was your age, we really didn't have those games at camp. So you have said. I know. We had the wallet making. Uh, We had... uh, we did have a canoe in the lake. Mm. It was still birch bark canoe, so <laughs> with holes in it and all that. I bet you guys did archery with long bows. We had an archery range, but they wouldn't let us use arrows, so we just stood there with the bows and pointed them at the uh, targets. But there was a hot new game that had just come out when I was your age. Yeah? It was called Capture the Flag. Wow. But it was so new, they hadn't developed it yet, so we didn't get to play it. We just heard about this game called Capture the Flag. <laughs> hadn't quite gotten all the kinks out yet. No, hadn't got the kinks out. It still needed a few balances here and there. Yeah, people were returning the flags, if it's not, not right, <laughs> to, to the other side. We had, we had baseball. It's the all-American sport. Right. I mean, it had only been around for like 230 years, so they let us play baseball. <laughs> It's just kind of hard, though, when you're playing baseball and you have 50 kids in the outfield, you know, and 50 kids, yep. you get to bat like once every month. <laughs> <laughs> but when you had a, hit a home run, boy, do you hit a home run. Yeah, yeah you have 18 kids running for it. <laughs> yep. No, the ball never touches the ground, really. Last year, um, when I was up at camp, they were going to play the water soccer but half of the teens were just so cold that they went, and the rest of us uh, stayed out there, which was about, I don't know, five of us, <laughs> about two or three on each team. That's because that camp is at such an elevation. Look, I'm sitting in the um, – this is true. This is absolutely true. I'm sitting in the studio. I can see snow up there on the mountain. At the bottom of that mountain, that's where your camp is. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They just don't make teens like they used to. Yeah. Okay, you've been listening to Comedy Parenting Radio talking about games at camp. Thanks for coming up in the studio on such a beautiful day. You really should be outside, so uh, thanks for coming up, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome. My pleasure. And when you guys go... Mm-hmm. Yeah? Hey, who put all these clothespins on my socks? <laughs> <laughs>
Get up, take him off of here. <laughs> you never saw it coming. Bye bye. Relax, Leo. Relax. Take a vacation. Come on, vacation.